We've just seen an algorithm that can be used to generate all concepts of a formal context. Let's look at a slightly more general problem. Suppose that we are given a closure operator double prime. It may be one of the two double prime operators of a formal context, or it may be something else. It doesn't matter. It's defined on some base set M, and we want to generate all subsets of M closed with respect to this closure operator. If this is a double prime operator of a formal context, then these closed sets are either all intents or all extents of the context. But for the moment it doesn't matter. We don't want to make any assumptions on where this closure operator comes from. So one obvious way to compute all closed sets is to go through all subsets A and compute A double prime for each of them. The problem with this approach is that different sets may have the same closure. And so if we follow this obvious algorithm, we may generate the same closed set many times. To avoid this, we have to check if A double prime has already been generated for every newly computed closed set A double prime. A naive implementation of this approach would maintain a list of all sets generated so far and would extend it with a newly generated set only if its copy is not yet on the list. What's the complexity of this approach? We must compute exactly 2 to the n closures, where n is the size of the base set m, because we compute the closure of every subset of m, and there are 2 to the n of them. Not all subsets of m are always closed, but there still may be exponentially many closed subsets. Well, actually, in the worst case, all subsets are closed. So there's a risk that the list of closed sets generated by our algorithm becomes long. In fact, exponentially long. And so checking whether a newly generated set is on the list will take long if we do it in a straightforward way. We can do it much faster if we use certain smart data structures. But we are now going to explore a different approach, which will not only make it easier to check if a closed set is generated multiple times, but will even make it unnecessary to compute some of the closures.